Wow. Um, I survived the last 24 hours. That was intense. <laughs> Maybe I do take on too many things at once, but oh wow. Uh, so what's up guys, Freeman here, and uh, my dreams have become very soggy, to say the least. And um, wow, uh, it, last night, man, Jesus. And it's quite interesting how this actually ties in with a lot of the other stuff I'm doing, because on my first day of Juice Fast, on my second day, I had I was having a lot of insomnia. And when, and when I have insomnia, I'll sort of fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep, wake up. And for some reason, my brain, when, if I try and fall asleep after waking up and I don't properly get back into REM sleep, I had these vivid dreams multiple times throughout the night. <laughs> I woke up like I survived. Get me out of there. <laughs> this is torture. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, the places I've been. <laughs> I probably need an STD test after this. Let me just tell you after all those dreams. Uh, yeah, so I survived. Managed to go out to the first day. And um, no, it's my first benefit. Other than not being able to punch someone in the face from having smoking cravings. Um, that was, I was getting into more spontaneous conversations, which was quite interesting. Uh, just getting into spontaneous conversations without really thinking about it. Um, uh, it's, it's only just started, so you actually notice it getting on, coming on more and more and more. But after a while, you just, you just naturally find yourself slipping into this easy conversation mode. Whereby you don't even think about, about what you're saying and who you're talking to. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to really, you know, test it out and see what it is. Also, I'm going to get my hair done because I look like a tramp. Jesus Christ. Look at all this. Um, that's going to be fun, getting my hair pulled for three hours. Anyway, yeah, my brain is also part half dead. Um, but I will tell you that um, if I wasn't doing no fat, this would be a lot harder. Um, because like in my last video, I was talking about the weakest link. If I wasn't... Um, doing my nofap, I probably wouldn't be able to do juice fast and quit, and quit all these other things because I'd have something to fall back on. And when I say something to fall back on, I don't mean falling back on, uh, you know, video games or something. I mean falling back on something that you know is harming you and that you know is bad for you. You know, I and mean, you may think about it. I mean, you can't really compare video games to smoking. I mean, Christ. Um, and, uh, you know, nofap, not doing nofap may not seem harmful, but when you actually know the effects and you can see the before and after, it's like, yeah, wow, I probably shouldn't be doing that. Uh, so yeah, to me, it's like the weakest link in the chain. Um, and you know, the more, the more I'm really, I can, you know, I have to do everything at once, otherwise I can't do anything at all. <laughs> what an existence, but it does mean that, you know, man, like week two, week three, oh, I feel like a god. It's, ah, oh, you know, some, sometimes I just sit there and just, Bosk, I don't know. I don't know. Just you're just like God. I feel so good, um, but that's gonna be blood, sweat, and tears till I get there. But it's worth it. Same thing with no fat. There, there are times when you, after like week two, you're just like, wow, like, wow, like, wow, like I just did that. Wow, what's happening to me? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's about getting enough. Anyway, I can't really talk for that much longer because my brain is. For flagging. So I will uh, see you all tomorrow. Yeah? I'll have more time to make videos, so I'll be uh, making the next part of my anxiety video and the next part of my sugar cravings video as well. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that, and thanks for tuning in. Peace.